In Latin, caries means rotten or foulness. Caries is a tooth disease caused by bacteria. Our bodies are occupied by numerous bacteria. Bacteria settlement usually starts immediately after birth because of our parents and our environment. Not all bacteria are harmful. For example, the bacteria flora in our intestinal tract is crucial for our survival. This is called symbiotic bacteria. Other bacteria simply settle in niches. These are called commensal bacteria. We do not benefit from them directly. However, settlement of such niches by commensal bacteria, for example in the skin, prevents these areas from being inhabited by other harmful bacteria. Sometimes bacteria and hosts struggle in a fight for dominance. Doctors call such germs opportunists. If the host is damaged by bacterial dominance, meaning the bacteria is winning, these germs are then referred to as pathogens. We have a number of bacteria in our mouths. Some live in essential niches and prevent other aggressive germs from ever settling, while other bacteria simply live alongside us. This means that we have both symbiotic and commensal bacteria in our mouths. However, the bacteria flora can change instantly due to changes in life circumstances. Commensal bacteria can suddenly turn into pathogenic germs. This is what happens with caries. The most important factors are certain host factors, plaque, and time. Host factors encompass all the factors relating to the host, such as tooth anatomy, saliva composition, and cleaning habits. Plaque is a layer on the teeth consisting of saliva parts, bacteria, and carbohydrates, and forms when the teeth are not cleaned properly. When all these factors come together, bad cleaning habits, plaque, and time, they lead to the formation of caries. We'll now use the animation to take a little tour into the plaque itself. Plaque is organized like a little city. There are bacteria that are specialized in just holding on to the teeth. Other bacteria transport nutrients by forming transport tubes. Then there's Streptococcus mutant bacteria, producing nutrients from organic acids which in turn attack the tooth by removing existing minerals from the tooth substance. Working together, you can see that plaque is very much like a little city. The formation of mature plaque usually takes about 24 hours. That's the amount of time it takes originally commensal and symbiotic bacteria to turn into germs that are pathogenic. If unorganized, mouth bacteria is not harmful. Only mature plaque can cause caries and periodontitis. Therefore, it's very important for everyone to remove plaque efficiently with the help of a toothbrush, dental water jets, and floss. By doing so, the bacteria are deprived of their habitat. Without this habitat, they cannot cause any more harm. Within the plaque, the bacterial products disintegrate the enamel. However, as soon as caries reach the dentin, depicted in our video here in yellow, the dentin is settled by bacteria. This is because the dentin contains proteins that supply the bacteria with a constant and ready food source. Even when the plaque is removed thoroughly and conscientiously from this point, the caries cannot be stopped. They develop their own dynamic. You can find out more in the video entitled Initial Caries. Toothache usually occurs when caries have reached the tooth nerves, marked here in red. In this case, a root treatment is necessary because the nerve has been infected by bacteria. If the root treatment is done incorrectly, it can lead to bone inflammation, even after years. Patients frequently refer to this as the disease focus, or the location where the infection originated. A root tip resection or even a tooth extraction might be necessary. You can see what a good root treatment looks like in the video entitled Root Treatment. Now, common caries is more easily understandable. Common caries can mean bridges, crowns, partial prosthesis, and sometimes even total prosthesis by the age of 50. Here you see various x-rays of patients from different doctor's offices. Do you notice that all these patients, probably just like you, only have bad teeth in the corner areas? On all of these pictures, even a non-expert can tell that people get fillings, crowns, and bridges, which are the bright spots on the x-rays, 
in the corner teeth areas first. So, why does this happen? Unfortunately, oftentimes, people only brush their teeth superficially because their minds are on other things or they get fooled by the fresh feeling that comes from brushing with toothpaste. This leads us to clean the front properly, of course, but the side teeth have cleaning deficits. This is not without consequence. Hidden layers, especially in the gaps between teeth, later lead to the destruction of enamel, caries, even gum inflammation, or periodontosis. This is why we get fillings on the sides first. Combined with bad dental work and sometimes a lack of proper information, this will lead most people to having bad teeth or even no teeth in the side areas by age 50. The frontal teeth are overly strained. And by age 60, a total prosthesis will likely be unavoidable for a typical individual. So, regular oral hygiene, quality dental work, and information prevent the formation of caries. You have something to smile about for years with CheckDent.com.